Hey guys, it's Saki Bali Khan over here. Today my topic is the Turbo Boost. Uh, how you can Turbo Boost your laptop and what is overclocking and what is the difference between Turbo Boost and overclocking the CPU. Okay, so let's start. So what is Turbo Boost? Uh, turbo Boost is basically uh, it's in their processor. Like I have bought a i5 generation, Intel i5 generation with a seventh gen core. All right. In that it's you can see the tax manager. Let me show you the tax manager. It says, uh, it says like uh, Intel R Core TM and i5 7th generation. Okay, it is max up, uh, it's max up speed is 2.7, but you can uh, but turbo, uh, but the CPU is turbo boosted to a 3.1. Okay, okay, here it is. The, you can see the maximum speed is 2.71 GHz. Uh, actually, the thing is, uh, you can see the utilization here. Uh, when the 99% is here, when the 99% goes on here, it maximum speed is 2.71. When it goes to 100%, it goes like a uh, 2.74 and it max up to 3.1 GHz. Let me show you guys. I have this uh, software handbrake which compares the video. It will take all the CPU of it. Okay. Here's the sample video. I will show you. So start recording. So it take all amount of you can see here. It will take all amount of CPU and turbo boost up to 3.09 gigas. That's the thing. It is turbo boosted up to 3.1 giga. So, what is the difference between uh, turbo boost and overclocking? Uh, overclocking is basically a uh, uh, you can overclock up to a three point like it it likes constant. It's like here it is written like 2.7 gigahertz. <coughs> when you overclock by bias, uh, it shows like 3.1 gigahertz of speed of CPU. Actually, uh, there is a lot of uh, what disadvantage of that overclocking you that overclocking damages CPU and processor and all that thing so basically uh, turbo boost is pretty safe I consider this a pretty safe so how turbo boost works basically uh, turbo boost works automatically like uh, I have used a handbrake for compressing my video it turbo boosted up to 3.1 if a software or any application or any games require any high processor, it automatically automatically <coughs> speeded up to a 3.1. Okay, so if you don't need to go to BIOS or change that thing, all that like you have to overclock or something, it is automatically. It will automatically boost. So if you guys like to overclock your CPU, make sure you have a better cooling system. Though it heats, it heats very huge. Okay, so make sure you have a better cooling system. Make sure you like my video, comment down below if you have any queries, and subscribe it. Thank you.